How do you feel after that? Oh, just to do my hair again. <laughs> <laughs> Last week now, leading up to IUR, or mm -hmm. your fighting championships as they call it, so yeah. uh, buzzing now. Um, so at the moment, I'm probably training most days, twice a day, so it could be a case of Monday, Tuesday's normally really MMA based, so class here at 12 o'clock, then a class at 6 o'clock, so splitting between kind of striking, jiu-jitsu, wrestling and everything. Same thing happens on Tuesday morning, staying at 7 o'clock and normally doing jiu-jitsu. Uh, MMA session staying at 12. Uh, Wednesday is wrestling because no one does more than one session after <laughs> wrestling. Um, Thursday is rounds like tonight, competition rounds. Friday is striking and Saturday more MMA rounds again. So it's been yeah pretty busy, must say. No? Yeah, for you, fight camp going on for IUR. Yeah. Tough, long training camp. You've done two fights almost back to back here now with this. Yeah, so I had a fight in May and then fighting again in June. So I kind of feel like I just haven't, didn't have two separate fight camps, it's just been one big training. Mm. So, yeah, it's kind of easier that way, I suppose, because you're not like taking a break and having to go back into it. You haven't had to, like, you, you've been in shape already, like, you haven't had to get back in shape, but yeah. mentally, what's it like? Is it probably on the flip side, like, tougher? It's not depressing coming in here all the time, but yeah, it is quite intense, like, I'm training twice a day usually. The midday class here which would be kind of more drilling, kind of like light sparring and then in the evenings we'd come and kind of do drilling again and then a bit more of intense sparring. I try to get at least like one three by three in a week just for kind of people who be similar style to my opponent, similar height to me. Um, and then I kind of have my own strength and conditioning then in between as well. So it's intense. Is there anything you've kind of worked on more for this fight? Uh, more active on my striking, 100%. Uh, one thing Aaron said to me after my last fight I lost, um, I seem very flat on my feet, which isn't like me. I'm normally annoying people with a side kick or something like that. So I've been really, really active this time around. So we're getting back to that. Perfect. So what does fight week look like for you? Obviously, you said that's the last tough session. Tough session. What does fight week entail for you then? Well, like, for the day before weigh-ins, like, most of us just, like, focus on the way, kind of relax, rest up, just get the head right, like, for the fight. So, from now after today, it's just resting, doing the water loading, doing the rest of the weight cutting. I don't have much to lose, like, so, feeling yeah, good. Yeah, because the, the weight the way cut can be, depending on how it's approached, it's not always an easy task, and that's not something you want to do going into your pro debut or something. So, <laughs> this is the end, I would presume this is the end of your amateur career coming up fairly soon, I'd say. Yeah, like, I don't want to look past, like, you know, any fight. Like, every fight's as big as the last, and, like, I wouldn't underestimate anybody. So, especially, like, fighting for titles and stuff. It's all good opponents, so hopefully before the end of the year. But, like I said, you know, I'm just looking at each fight, like, not looking past the next fight. Just before the end of the year, it's kind of when I get the pro debut done, I think. Wait, I know your days are numbered for bantamweight anyway, but you have to be sparring people that are bigger, stronger, with longer reach and everything. So how's that been? Um, obviously, I feel like any girl kind of knows in a martial arts gym, you're either, it's hard to get the perfect training partner because a lot of guys will be too sound and go too easy on you. And then you'll have the other extreme where they go way too intense. So trying to find someone who's still giving you that intensity while not trying to break you up is hard but luckily there's a few in here yeah. that are good yeah. um, my opponent for this fight's definitely a striker fast good at kickboxing so i've been kind of trying to find people like that who are very kicky and kind of want to keep it on the feet so yeah, yeah. just you have to be a bit smart with it i suppose ready for your fight can't wait yeah so how does it feel when you've actually got more than just yourself going on to a card like what's the buzz like in the gym <clears throat> it's good really good like obviously it's better like the more people you kind of have folks on the same thing the more you're kind of on the same page like all getting ready for it. like um sometimes if you're like the only one you're kind of like it's hard to get everyone else in training hard with you and stuff but like if you're like if there's a few on it there's a kind of better buzz going and stuff like that yeah.